Yo guys beast back with some more beastly content today We are going to be covering a guide on how to farm all of the plans This is the best way to get plans in Fallout 76. So first things first uh, The way to get most basic plans is going to be from claiming workshops if you claim workshops You'll get most of the basic plans for free It'll save you some caps on having to buy some basic plans also I mean technically you could farm them and sell them in your own shop to make yourself some caps uh, but once again Super duper easy way of getting basic plants is just claiming the workshops, defending the workshops. Every time you complete a defense wave, it'll be giving you some plans. Every time you claim a workshop, as you can see right here, quest completed, claim workshop at George Junkyard. Let's see what sort of plan we received out of it this time. Item reward, plan, metal, diner, doors. Very nice. That's a plan we didn't have before. The next thing we're going to cover is Vinny Oscara, who is located at the Big Ben Tunnel, uh, a.k.a. the Blue Ridge Caravan camp uh, actually the little tree icon here invaders from beyond event happens here so you can actually get here and walk straight over to big ben tunnel even if you are relatively new to the game the instant invaders from beyond goes on over there in that uh, cool looking area there you'll be able to get to vinny oscar here really duper super duper easy this event is so easy to do and i don't know if it's a daily or what but uh, i do know that all you have to do is go talk to vinny he will tell you to go check up on his workers who uh his workers are apparently slacking. They're not working hard for some reason. So, uh, you actually want to toggle this quest active. Open the map after you talk to Vinny and agree to go help him. Otherwise, it won't show up. I actually thought you had to go into the tunnels. Went into the tunnels and wasted a bunch of time. Uh, just to find out, all I had to do was toggle it active. And then there was just a dude inside of the very camp I was at that you would have to speak to. Uh, named Kareen. Kareen, I think it is. Okay, anyway, so... Uh, the quest objective was on the ground even though <laughs> he's right here so uh, go ahead and interact with him and basically he says that he has like children back home or something he wants to send them some toys uh, he sends you on this little fetch quest of five red toy trucks from the Nuko World on Tour area so of course what else would you be needing to do after talking with Kiran uh, besides, head yourself on over to Nuka World on tour. Go collect yourself some Nuka World toy trucks. We are going to be showing all the locations right now. I'm not sure if they're randomized or not, but regardless, it does have objective markers on screen for you, directing you directly to the toy trucks. Super duper easy quest here. Literally just go to Nuka World on tour if you've ever done any sort of public event from the Nuka World on tour set. Uh, then you've already been here and you can just instantly fast travel here. Uh, but as you can see here, collect Nuka World Red Toy Trucks. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and go through here. The first one is over here. As you can see here, I'm not going to show the entire run. I am just going to show like when we actually get to the thing. Uh, but the first one is actually just right on over here. It's just directly from spawn. I figured I'd go ahead and just show you the full walk. It's just going to be in one of these uh, booths here. On the back of it, you'll open up the gate and you'll find the Nuka World Toy Truck right there there's our first truck four more trucks to find the next one's going to be just past this red looking thing up these stairs it's like the back side of the western uh the western whatever sort of thing for the nuclear world on tour you know what i'm saying so uh, as you can see here second red truck collected only three more to go uh the next one is going to be over here on this bench just outside of this uh del walsh vending guy he sells stuff it's he sells stuff that's all i gotta say uh, so the next thing we're going to do is walk on up this little roadway here. Uh, we're actually going towards the roller coaster area uh, to begin to go ahead and find this. Uh, as you can see here, we're walking towards the roller coaster area, and then it's going to be just a bit past the uh, roller coaster area. I actually do believe one of them was on the roller coaster. We may have missed one here. Uh, because the next one we're going to be going to is actually going to be the one that's located in the elephant cage cart looking thing. Uh, this is just outside of the Nuka World tent. Once again, there is quest objectives on map and on screen when you are doing that quest. All you got to do now is return to the Blue Ridge Caravan Co. Go ahead and talk to Kiran. Hand him the toy trucks. you got to go ahead and hype him up and be like, Look, bro, this is what them kids want. They want them toys. Uh, because he's like, oh, I'm not so sure they even want these. And it's like, well, no, they need them, bro. They need them, bro. So, uh, we go ahead and convince him of that, and he's like, alright, well, I'm gonna get back to work harder now, so now all we gotta do is go tell Vinny, hey, yo, I told your worker, get back to work, he's all good now. So, uh, after you do that, of course, the quest will complete, and you will get a plan, we're gonna go ahead and report back to Vinny Costa now. 
uh, and just go ahead and see what it is we did actually get as you can see here we actually did have to go through the tunnels to find this guy uh, just a little bit of a note there but once again once you start the quest it'll tell you where to go it'll tell you what to do it's a super duper easy quest to do we do still have a big thing to be covering here i am just getting out of the way the farmable quest lines uh first and foremost before doing this so the other thing is there's a couple more i'm just going to touch on real quickly so there's the taxidermy quest line uh, which I will be showing the actual like quest name uh, soon enough when we get on to the next part Which is actually gonna be the farming uh, the brewing stand plans is from the nuka shine quest line uh, So just you want to do that and then if you need any sort of generator plans all generator plans will be dropping from the Poseidon power up Poseidon energy plant as well as any other power up event So if it's an energy plant power up event that's running go ahead and do that for a generator plans the other thing to note on is that white springs mall does also have plans for sale however the prices in white springs mall are not always the best some things you can get there for a decent little price of caps it's not too bad it is an okay place to go buy plans especially rarer plans you can get some nice plans out of white springs mall here uh and then also outside of to things that things you're actually you can do uh, for a not needing to spend caps on it's going to be stamps stamps are an expedition uh, currency that allows you to buy special plans such as like the world's largest slot machine like all sorts of other cool stuff we will be looking at the inventory here in just a second once again you get stamps by doing expeditions so uh, Bubba here is just a Nuka-Cola salesman but the guy beside him is a GFC who sells uh, apocalyptic farmer headwear aquarium pillars aquarium wall display Atlantic City dice table world's largest slot machine you know stuff like that uh as i am telling you this but uh the next thing we're actually going to go ahead and get on into is plans farming so the other thing you want to go ahead and do is get yourself on over to the settlers area if you haven't done the new arrivals yet you want to go ahead and get to work on the new arrivals quest line uh the reason for this is because gold is another thing you can use to buy uh, plans with and golds obtained from treasury notes you turn those into gold i do believe treasury notes drop from events uh but as you can see here there's plans for nuka cola quantum collectron all sorts of other sort of plans you may want to purchase they do require gold also there's like a very specific uh farm tile or something like that it makes like a little indoor farm you can make uh which is a plan i've always wanted you have to buy it with gold uh, just something to note on you do want to go ahead and get that stuff done aside from that and we're gonna go ahead and real quickly just get through invaders from beyond because I always do invaders from beyond we're also gonna go ahead and talk about seasonal uh, unlocks so this is another way to get plans there are plans going on in here you will have to get your season rank up the way to get your season rank up is gonna be by completing your daily and weekly challenges if you didn't know when you open up your menu uh, you can actually click the chip seasons uh tab and it'll show you this this is where you can redeem stuff right now it's a ticket based system and you have to reach certain ranks to unlock certain pages so like this second page here has beach fence sets only 30 tickets i'll be able to buy that once i reach rank seven my plan on reaching rank seven of course is going to be completing some of these uh daily challenges challenges are what you're going to want to do when you open up the main menu you click your lb or whatever button it is on pc you see challenges go ahead and complete those you will get season rank up and when you reach certain season ranks you'll unlock new pages that's real quickly seasonal plans also events like invader from beyond uh the shoot 'em up text or the shoot 'em up sheriff event uh, that happens in Nuka Cola Town, all sorts of areas like that, all will be dropping plans. As you can see there, we just unlocked plans for the asteroid from the Invaders from Beyond. But the absolutely best way of getting a whole ton of plans really, really quickly is just opening up your map, seeing all the player vending areas, and going and see what plans they have. Because there are people out here selling 900 plans right now, uh, and you can just unload a bunch of caps sometimes they're even selling plans for really really cheap do stay away from vendors that have plan prices way too hiked up don't try and pay 2,000 caps for like a bed or something or one single plan unless it just really is a really rare plan there are rare plans out there uh, but most plans are not going to be worth 2,000 caps just do keep in mind some people do price their stuff up higher than it should be uh, but it is the, one of the best ways of farming plants. This guy only had three. I don't even know why we really checked. We'll go ahead and see what he had, though. 
Uh, as you can see here, he has the Alien Tube for 2000 Like I said, that's just a really high price. Campfire Tales Tent, no way. The Campfire Tales event itself, when you do it enough times, you should be able to unlock the Campfire Tales plan for absolutely free. That is another event that you can do. There are tons of public events. Most public events will drop a plan of some sort at the end of it if you haven't unlocked a bunch of plans already. Uh, but some events drop specific plans, like the alien one will drop a bunch of aliens related plans, etc, etc, etc. But once again, the pretty much best way of farming plans is just getting yourself up some caps. I have a video linked down below for a guide on how to farm caps really, really quickly. Uh, the, you just get yourself some caps and go from player camp to player camp buying out all the plans you need as you can see here we started with like 5,000 caps here and we just went through and bought a bunch of plans and we probably unlocked a good hundred or so plans in this video alone this is definitely the best way of farming plans you can also go ahead and hop off the server and hop back on you'll hop on with different people on a different server so there's different people selling different plans you get what I'm saying the best place to get plans is just player camps go there and buy them that's pretty much all there is to it. I've covered all the quest line farmable plans. Uh, I may have missed a few of the quest line farmable plans. I'm not 100% sure that I have found all of the uh, quest line farmable plans, but that's pretty much all of them. I did once again tell you the taxidermy quest line uh, is one of the ones you're going to want to do for all of the mounted heads. Any of the mounted heads all come from that taxidermy quest line, which once again, uh, soon enough in this video, I will be showing you just a quick shot of the name of the quest that is both for the Nuka Shine quest, for the plans for the brewing stands, as well as any of the mounted heads plans from the taxidermy quest line. Also, I mean, it's not a bad quest line itself. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, this guy had a ton of plans, and we're down to like three or 2,000 caps, something like that. 2,600 caps, that's all we have. We're literally going to go through all 5,000 of our caps here, buying plans. Another thing I do want to go ahead and tell you, this is a really good tip. Make sure and redeem your plans as you're going along, uh, because you do not want to go through and buy the same plan twice. It's not that big a deal. Like, see, I got the plan barn building set already. So, I didn't even need it. That sucks. I didn't know it was a known because I hadn't redeemed it yet. Make sure you go through and redeem your plans every now and again before you keep going on to more camps. Because eventually you might start accidentally buying the plans that you've already bought once. Which always sucks because all you can do is sell them again in your own uh, vendor station. Which is fine, but at the same time, you didn't need to buy it to begin with. Uh, and as you can see here, this is my camp right now. This is my PC save. So, once again, I don't really have enough... Uh, camp plans mainly because I like to use prefab buildings and I don't actually have any real prefab buildings at least some Fallout 76 just because it's not as vast as Fallout 4's building system uh, but we did go through here and kind of just try and tune up our little base here this is getting towards the end of the video I have pretty much told you how to get as many plans as you want uh, the best way is just to farm them from player camps basically and then also once again those were the quest lines to do But I do believe this is about the end of the video. You can go ahead and enjoy this little uh, Me building my base here All right, and real quickly. Here's how to season rank up like right here expeditions uh, Complete tax evasion and then luckily right after that I check teams and someone's doing an expedition and lo and behold What expedition are they doing? But of course tax evasion all I had to do is join this guy's expedition, help him out clearing his, and it gave me the clear for clearing tax evasion, allowing me to get more seasonal rank and unlock more stuff in the season pass for more plans. Uh, but yeah, and as you can see here, rank 6, 100, rank 7. We can now purchase stuff from the second page. That means we can get those nice beach fences that I really do want to pick up. Uh, Expeditions are super duper easy and as you can see here 20 stamps So we did just also get stamps from doing that expedition most wanted once again This is another event that will be giving you some plans super duper easy event You just go in you kill protectrons uh, Until they are all dead once you've killed enough protectrons, of course uh, There will be the legendary sheriff bot which will also drop a legendary uh, and at the end of the event, you will also be getting some sort of plan. Let's go ahead and see what plans we unlocked with our clear of this event right here. Item reward. 
We got three treasury notes. That's a good deal. I don't know what the dot 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 is, but we should have gotten a plan of some sort out of that. Also, we did get a western spirit, but I do believe this is the end of the video, so go ahead and leave a like on it if you